Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to record 3DS or DS audio directly to your computer using a 3.5mm AUX cable. So, once you get this, it's pretty simple on what to do. All you need to do is locate the headphone jack on your system. On the 3DS, it's in the front. I personally don't have a new 3DS or anything, so I don't know where it is. But you're going to need to plug it in here. And, sorry, I need to put that down. I only have two hands, and I'm holding the camera with one of them. So you'll notice that that audio will stop playing once you plug it in, so you won't be able to hear it. That's because it's sending the audio through this cable. So the next thing to do is to plug this cable into an input source. So on your computer, it's usually the microphone. If you have a laptop, it usually has the microphone icon next to the, next to the slot, but since I have a desktop, it doesn't. So I'm going to plug this into the microphone. I just know that this is the microphone because this is my computer and I've had it for a while. So next, you're going to open up um, Audacity or any program you want to record your audio. And on my screen, I have a bunch of links. I just googled aux cable. So this just shows it's not a very big investment. $2.50, $2.99, 99 cents. So it's really not that much. And it increases audio quality a lot, so it's really worth it in my opinion. So, like I was saying, you need to go into the Audacity folder, and you're going to run the Audacity. Well, obviously you can run any sound input program, but I'll just be showing Audacity because this is one of the most common ones. So, over here, right next to the microphone icon, you're going to locate the microphone that you want to use. So this Logitech USB headset, this is the one I'm using to record the video. That's this is my voice talking. This is like just a sound mapper for Microsoft. And here is the actual microphone. So we're going to select this one. And the way I know which one it is is because there's only one microphone slot on my PC. But there's like nine USB ports, so I know it's not the USB one. So that just leaves this as the only choice. And you usually want to do stereo, mono doesn't sound quite as good, and this doesn't really matter. So, once you've got that set up, then you can just hit the record button. So this is what it looks like, you can just press that. And the audio might be lagging just a little, not an insane amount, but... So I'm going to insert my Mario Kart 7 game so it'll play the sound effect. So that this looks like it because it's playing it and I'm like scrolling to the side through the apps and stuff and once you've had enough of that once you've recorded all the audio you want you can just hit the stop button right here you can trim out any stuff at the end by just selecting it and then backspacing and then sometimes if it doesn't go all the way to the tip then you would do effect amplify but since mine goes all the way to the top there's no need to amplify anything so I'm just gonna do file export audio and you can usually save it as a wave you usually just want to do a Microsoft one just keep it at this format and we'll save this as 3ds audio and just hit OK you don't need to change any of this stuff and it looks like it's done so let's check it out. So it's coming out of my headphones. So I'm just going to eject my headphones real quick so that you guys can hear it. But I, So I won't ta be talking because my headphones won't like pick anything up. So yeah, that was the audio that was playing. So that's what recorded it. So you can like add, you can add this WAV file into your um, video file just like using a normal video editor program. So yeah, that's how you re directly record 3DS audio to your computer. 
This probably works with any game console that has a headphone output jack, not just 3DS, but I'm not sure exactly which consoles have that. But if the if it does have an audio output, which is like a headphone, then I'm pretty sure it will work. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for videos, and I'll see you next time.